What? A CD that you can play on a turntable? I know what you're thinking. This is ridiculous. You cannot play CDs on a turntable. Well, typically, I would say that you're absolutely correct. However, there is a CD that you can indeed play on a record player. And I'm going to show that to you today, as well as like sample a little bit of it. This is something I just kind of stumbled upon as I have been going through and listening to everything in my collection. Um, I had forgotten it existed, but it's from a little label out of, no surprise, Olympia, Washington, birthplace of Riot Girl, K Records, Sleater Kenny, and Evergreen College. Olympia has an amazing DIY music scene, and that dates back to, well, at least the early 1980s, with the founding of K Records by Calvin Johnson in 1982. I already mentioned Riot Girl. Well, that stemmed from Kathleen Hanna and her group Bikini Kill, as well as cohorts Bratmobile both from Olympia in the 1990s. Dig deeper and you'll find that there's like this post-hardcore and anti-folk scene that kind of spun up in Olympia around the late 1970s. But today, uh, I'm going to look at this. It's a CD that you can play on a turntable. The label that releases is called People in a Position to Know, uh, abbreviated as Piaptic, and they do all sorts of releases on lathe cut vinyl. This label has released one-offs by a ton of underground artists. If you circle around the indie rock scene, you may recognize a few of these names. Um, the Flaming Lips, The Microphones, Carl Blau, Cassio Tone for The Painfully Alone, Granddaddy, and surfer blood, and the list just goes on and on and on. Now, I do have a handful of lathe cut releases by Piaptic, including one by Mira. There's this thing by a band called Paleo, called Where Did the Day Go Paleo, and there's this band I had never heard before called Live Action Cultures with a Z. These are really interesting. They are not your typical, like, seven inch singles. So if I pull it out, it's actually larger than your standard 7-inch. From a quality standpoint, I, I hear lathe cut is not the best quality in terms of sound and playback, but it's still kind of cool nonetheless, especially given people in a position to know such limited quantity runs. I think these are listed as, yeah, number 7 of 25 um, on this Paleo. So really cool stuff there. But I want to talk about this guy right here, which is by a band called The Blank Tapes. The Blank Tapes is centered around Matt Adams out of California. He creates this like psychedelic folk music that is kind of fun and catchy, very summery, totally California. Well, we never I stumbled upon his music uh, probably about 15 years ago or so, maybe, give or take a few, when I believe he or his press people sent me a CD to review. I've since picked up one or two other items from him, including this and a cassette and so forth. So this is one song, just one song single, where Adams and the Blank Tapes covers the pop standard track Beyond the Sea. I mean, we all know it. It's it's. A classic tune. Love this song. The sea, somewhere. I picked it up when I lived in Washington, about 20 miles east of Anacortes, which has these really strong sister town ties to Olympia, especially when it comes to DIY music. There's a little record store there called The Business, and you're, if you're ever out in Washington and in that area, I strongly recommend popping by that shop. Amazing people, a lot of really cool underground DIY stuff there, really great. They also do distribution out of, of there for a lot of uh, smaller labels internationally too. Here's a little blurb from Piaptic and the label's related pressing business, LatheCuts.com. The CD record series will be an ongoing series of CD singles with one song on the burnt part of the CD and the same song with lathe cut grooves on the backside 
of the CD, so it plays on your turntable and in your CD player. Each CD record will come with a center spindle adapter. Each disc comes in a professionally printed mini LP sleeve, which you can see here. It's like split, like I think 150 are sold through Piaptic, uh, 75 are, are distributed through the bands themselves, and 75 are sent out for distribution to other businesses and, and record stores and the like. So other bands that have released the CD record hybrid through Piaptic include Jeremiah Green, who was the late drummer for Modest Mouse. You have Michael Now, who has released under his own name, as well as Cotton Jones Basket Ride, and then further before that, Paige France. You have Circulatory System, who were part of the whole like Elephant Six collective. You have Money Mark, who is probably best known for his collaboration with the Beastie Boys between 1992 and 2011. And the list goes on. There are currently like just over 30 in this series. Uh, I'm going to play a snippet of this so you can actually like see it play on the turntable. Hopefully I don't get any kind of dings or anything like that for actually playing a little bit of music on the channel. Uh, but I, I want you to see it and I want you to hear it because this actually plays on a turntable. It's ridiculous. It's really kind of cool. It's fun just to have for the sake of that. Beyond the sea. She's there watching for me If I could fly like birds on high Then straight to her arms I'll go sailing All right, how cool is that? A CD that you can play on a turntable. If you want to grab one of these, I'll include some links in the description so you can explore the series and grab yourself one of these sweet little oddities. It doesn't have to be the blank tapes. Uh, it can be any of them. I'll include one to the label. I'll include one to um, the Discogs series so you can take your pick and uh, support these crazy little indie bands and this amazing little indie label out of Olympia, um, although I think they may have moved to some other location now. It's just, it's just really cool. Coming up soon on the channel, I'm continuing my weekly Poetic Wax Music History Hidden in the Grooves series where I cover sometimes the often little known history of the albums in my collection. You can see behind me, I've got a number of records. I've got Can Soon Over Baba Luma. I've got Kraftwerk's Autobahn, The Smiths. If you like videos like this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments. Um, do you like this kind of looser format? I'd, I'd love to know. I'm Andy. This is the Fence Post Vinyl Channel, which also has the Poetic Wax series. I'll see you in the next video.